At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. India, the world's largest democracy and a rising economic superpower from education, infrastructure, pharmaceuticals, electronics, military to space science. We have left no stone unturned in the path of a progress since independence. But when we say India, here we're talking about two India. India and Bharat. One country, but two worlds. Although they appear similar, there's a huge gap in terms of economic realities that divides them. One is pacing ahead in high urbanism, the other is stranded behind in acute backwardness, poverty and vulnerability. There is still a larger section of citizens who haven't benefited much from the freedom or democracy. As a section of the society it lacks social protection, equal opportunity and economic justice. Social security is also about creating opportunities. It's also about provision. It's about provision of basic necessities that a citizen would require. It is also provision to ensure that this, the person does not slip uh, away from uh, the society and becomes deprived. The unorganized sector's workers must receive a share in the economic development of this country and they must receive the economic benefits must be distributed to them also. That is the whole idea. Agriculture is the sector that is most affected by this inequity in national progress. Two-thirds of India's population is still engaged in agriculture and farming activities as their primary source of livelihood. Besides, it is principal activity for food production and providing raw materials for various other industries in our country. Due to the increasing stress in the agricultural sector, the workers are in the process of migrating to cities in search of other livelihoods. And this mass migration has multiple factors behind it. For the agricultural earning can no longer suffice the survival. Though India became self-sufficient in agricultural production in 1970s, it also has witnessed several suicides and distress calls from the farmers in recent decades. We also give them a lot of information and awareness about the uh, government uh, social security schemes. Like there are uh, Pradhan Mantri, Suraksha Yojana, Pradhan Mantri, Jeevan Jyoti uh, Yojana, Atal Pension Yojana. All these uh, programs of the government, we give a lot of uh, awareness to the people and advise them to join some pension scheme so that they can be benefited uh, through all these government schemes. The government introduced MNR EGS crop insurance, credit facilities, and few other schemes for the rural sector. However, these are not implemented properly due to various systemic failures and structural limitations. Channel 
ಏನ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂರ್ ಜನ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ಓದಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿ ಬೆಳೆ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿ ಜೀವನ ಮಾಡ್ಕ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಜಳ್ಳ ಬಿಡೈತ ನೀರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಒಂದ್ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಗೈತ ಅಷ್ಟ ಏಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡೈತ ಅವರು ಅವರು ನಾಪದ ವರ್ಷ ಪೋರಾ ಲಾರಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನ ಲಾರಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ನೂರ ತೊಂಬತ್ತು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಬರ್ತಿ ನೂರ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಬರ್ತಿ ಅದು ಕೂಡ ಮನ ಮುಲ್ಲೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಒಂದ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಬಣ್ಣ ಅನ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಪೋರ್ನಿಗೆ ಕೂಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಊಟ ಕಡಗ್ರ ನೆಲ್ಲು ಅರುವಡೆ ಸೇಂಜಿ ಮಾ ಮಂಡಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಮಾರಿ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಕಳಪನಾಲು ಅಂಗಿ ಅದು ಮಾರಿ ದ ಮೋಸ ಅಡಿ ಸೇರಾಂಗ ಎಲ್ಲಾಮೇ ಅದು ಮಾರಿ ದ ಇನ್ನು ವ್ಯವಸಾಯಿಗೆ ಯಾರಿಮೇ ನಂಬಿ ದ ಇರ್ಕಾಂಗ್ಲೋ ಚ ಅವಂಗ್ಲೇ ತಾಣೋ ಇನ್ನು ಮುಡಿ ವರಲ ವ್ಯವಸಾಯ ನಂಬಿ ಏದೋ ಮುನ್ನಾರ ಮುಳ್ಳ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೆ ನಾಂಗ್ಲೋ ಒಣ್ಣು ಪಣ್ಣ ಮುಡಿಯಾದ ಸೂ ನಲ್ಲ ನಡೆವೆ ನಿಕ್ಕಿರೋ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ನೇಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕಾಮ ನೇಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೇನೆ ಸುಬ ಗಂಟೆ 6 ಬಜೆ ಸಾಮ್ ಕಷ್ಟ ತಕ್ಕ ಕಾಮ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮನ ಜಿರಾತ್ ಕಿರತ್ ಕೋಬಿ ಇಜ್ಜತ್ ಇದ್ ನೀತೆ ತ ಬೈಲ್ ಅಂಚರಾನ ಬಕ್ರಿ ಚರಾನ ಗೋಬರ್ ಸಮಲ್ನ ಅದು ಕೋಬಿ ಇಜ್ಜತ್ ಇದ್ ನೀತೆ ತ ಅವಸೆ ಪಾಲಿಸಿನ ಗವರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೋಬಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೀ ಹೆ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೂರಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂಟಿನೆಂಟಲ್ ಯುರೋಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಯುಕೆ um you know in terms of education and health uh, are so good that they most people don't actually feel left out of the system and compare this to india where you have issues of health or of education and deprivation is pretty rife because we don't even have a concept of social security which is as developed as it is in in europe and in the uk the idea is not to uh, pull down the organized sector the idea is to pull them up so that they live a decent life the constitution of india as well as the ilo promises a try to achieve fair share of development to all its citizens the people especially the farm workers who are contributing are making everyone in this country to be fed and not to die and now made to die of hunger this is the contradiction that we are facing it today that the agriculture itself should be developed with the political will of the party in power or the state in control the contradiction is that the same amount of equal opportunity and support which is given to the industry is not given to the agriculture if only that is done i am sure the social protection to agricultural workers will be ensured now it is much more important that the agriculture work is made remunerative and dignified we need to create decent rural farm employment opportunities that ensure a living income for the workers security in workplaces proper access to social protection and respect for fundamental human rights it should enable people to provide for themselves and their families whether through self-employment or wage labor